Alberta's government is sticking to its fiscal guns, moving forward with plans to cut health care spending despite being in the midst of a pandemic. Alberta spends more than 40% of its annual budget on health, a big problem since the province could run a deficit of nearly $25 billion this year. But Alberta's health minister says the cuts won't impact patients. I can confidently say government's direction is that there will be no job losses for nurses or frontline clinical staff. Instead, the province plans to trim more than $600 million per year from its health budget by outsourcing things like lab and laundry services, moves that will mean the elimination of nearly 10,000 jobs, a move health policy experts say likely makes some sense, but that will be easier said than done. It doesn't take into account that healthcare systems are probably the world's most complex organizational structures. And many noble efforts to change them have failed because change is hard. And he may well be right. The union that represents the workers whose jobs are to be outsourced is threatening to strike to protest the job losses and the impact they'll have on patients during a pandemic. They keep our hospitals and our healthcare facilities safe and clean and they keep patients fed. Um, so it's food services and housekeeping and laundry services which have been targeted. That is frontline work. Alberta currently spends the second most per capita of any province on health care, trailing only Newfoundland. But the union says outsourcing thousands of jobs won't actually save the province any money. It'll just hurt patients during a pandemic. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.